This video will cover the basics of how to set up and work with Access Control in IoT Builder. First, we need to enable the panels for Access Control. This is set in the panel properties, which can be opened by right clicking on the panel name in the project tree view. Next, in the panel creator, we need to add a login button from the IoT controls. The login button contains design time properties for setting the default password and messages for login dialog forms and error messages. All other controls have access control property, which determines their behavior when we are not logged in. For example, the text log control in our sample design is set to be hidden unless the user is logged in. You can also set entire tabs to be invisible unless the user has authenticated, which is commonly used for admin tabs. This is done by right clicking on the tab in the project tree and toggling the authorization command. You'll see a padlock on the main view for the tabs that are set to require authorization. The other thing we need to do is respond to login and logout events in our firmware program. In Visual Designer, these are server events and you can drag and drop them onto the program in the usual way. These events will be called only after successful login and successful logout. For our little test, We'll just add a simple confirmation message. Now that the setup is complete, we can run the simulation via the play button at the bottom of Proteus. Press the login button and enter the password. Note that both the text log and the admin tab have become available and that the login button doubles as the logout button when you have been authenticated. If you prefer, you can test the panel in your browser by copying and pasting the display URL into the address bar of your browser.